What's going on everyone? Kate with Media here and welcome to a safe space for the unbound. I don't know much about this game, all I know is that it looks incredible. The pixel art animations and the art style reminds me to Finding Paradise and Undertale. We're gonna play a different game today, but for some reason the Steam servers are down, so there's no way we're playing a multiplayer game today. But um, yeah. If you want to see more about this game, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and maybe when it comes out, I'll check it out. And uh, without further ado, let's begin with this demo and see how it goes. I don't know anything about this game, I don't know what it, this game is about. All I know is that it looks like Undertale and Finding Paradise at the same time, and I love it. It was a cold night. The South Star Princess was weak, and the cat was worried. Meow, Princess. Naya looks sick. Lick sick meow. Okay. Are meow okay? The cat meow. The princess looked up to the night sky and thought, It's time to say goodbye, to leave the world behind. Oh no. Yup, this is uh, not what I was expecting. I have something for you, my dearest friend. A parting gift. I'll show you my last miracle. Something was shining bright on the palm of her hand. It was the miracle. The cat was stunned, in awe, but it cried too. Oh, meow princess, please, no, do not do that. I no want to let Niao go, the cat meowed. The princess just smiled and stared into the cat's teary eyes. Everyone else just wanted my miracles, but you are the only one who stayed afterwards. Thank you for being my friend. Snap. I can. Me neither. It was bright and warm. The glowing South Star Princess turned into Star Test and was scattered to the sky above. But her light stayed within this pretty yellow flower. Left behind and alone, the cat hugs the flower to itself. Oh, princess, the world doesn't deserve you. I know. So, what do you think, Mr. Cool Rider? It was great. Your story was so touching that, and I can't wait to listen to the rest of it. The world, the adventure, and the characters, I love them all. But the princess, I love her the most. Oh, phew. I'm glad you liked it. I was kind of worried and not really confident about it at all. At first, I was going to make the princess turn into a comet when she passed away. And then she would have destroyed the planet and devoured all the creatures that stole her miracles. But that would be a brutal way to end this story. So, I decided to scrap that. Yeah, I think that's um too violent and doesn't fit you at all. By the way, where did you get the idea for the comet? Well, it was last night, I was really upset and worried. And I looked outside the window for inspiration and suddenly, saw a beautiful comet flash across the sky. Oh jeez, I wish I was awake last night. But still, I can't believe it. I can't believe it ends like this. What a sad fate for the South Star Princess. Do you want to hear the final chapter? final chapter? There's more of it? Yeah, it'll be more like an ep epilogue, but we can think of it as the final chapter. I wanted to tell a story about the cat's final adventure. The cat will, um, the yellow flower, they're about to, uh, huh, weird. Hmm, what's wrong? All of a sudden, I can't think of anything. My mind is gone blank. It was on the tip of my tongue. Hey, why don't we try to get out and get some fresh air? It may help you clear your thought. Hmm, okay. Interesting. I love the art style. Look at that. Reminds me to Pokemon. What's happening here, Tamball? How about now? Feeling any better? Um, I don't know. What happened? Do you have a writer's block? I don't know, it feels like 
There's something dark and scary. It's making me too afraid to continue and find out what kind of story I wanted to tell. Hmm. I think that's definitely writer's block. Hey, maybe it's time to use the magic red book. The ma magic red what? The magic red book. Have you forgotten about it? The book which contains the spell to dive into our deepest heart and get rid of its turmoil. Oh, that red book. Yeah, we've used it now and again. Where's the book? Um, I think I forgot where I I forgot where I put it. I'm sorry. I'm so careless. Hey, no worries. I'll help you look for the magic red book. Hmm, maybe I put it somewhere around here. Can you look for something red? Okay, I'm on it. Something red. Well, that's red. But... Okay, looks like we can inspect that. What is this story setting? Looks like China. I found a red book. This must be the magic red book. Well, considering that it's the only book we have found so far, it must be it, right? Will it be magical though? We'll see. I got it. Let's see what this does. Here you go. Hey, is this what you're looking for? The magic red book. You found it. Go on then. Try to use the book. But I'm afraid of using it by myself. Oh, you. Can you help me, dear magical Mr. Cool Rider? Please, 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 please. Whoa, calm down. Okay, I'll help. Just tell me how to use it. I don't remember. When you see it, you just have to open the book. See it? See what? You'll see a dancing flower above someone's head. Dancing flower, huh? Yeah. Believe me, that's the power of the magic red book. And then, you just open the book. Is that it? No dancing or chanting required? Yes, that's it. Hurry up and just try it already. Alright, we're doing this to get rid of whatever it is that you're scared of. And to find the final chapter that I wanted to tell. Yeah, that too. Okay, <laughs> so when I see a dancing flower, I need to use the book dive what do you mean are we getting into the person's thoughts all right oh okay how's it going i'm scared i'm just too scared to think about the final chapter to look for it i'm afraid to find out what lies beneath what if it turns out bad everyone will think i'm a weirdo just think I've never finished anything before. This final chapter will never be able to finish it. Oh, so she's she doesn't have a writer's block problem. She's just too afraid to share the story. A flower? I picked up a key. I wonder what door it opens. Maybe this one. <laughs> Very straightforward for sure. Uh, that's people laughing. Oh my god. Yeah, that's um, that's terrifying. My one year old. Oh, can you guys uh, not talk too fast? Because I want to read what you guys are saying. Oh my, what a mess. Poor thing. Right. What about this flower over here? It was bright and warm. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust and was scattered into the sky above. But her light stayed within this pretty yellow flower. Are you guys making fun of my sister's story? What is happening now? I had an idea. Might be useful. We're gonna give this to our dearest sister. I don't know if it's, her, if it's our sister, it's probably our cousin. this story I'm still afraid but this could I should I tell this story should I finish it yes this could be it
Look at that. Whoa, I just realized how far we've walked. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? It is. It feels like I'm walking in outer space. Kind of like an out-of-body experience. I've had one of those, and trust me, it's terrifying. It's not nice. You know what? We should come up with a cool name for when you see the magic red book. I think Space Dive sounds cool. What do you think? Space Dive? Hmm, that sounds cool. And informative. Yeah, you're diving into space of my heart, so... Space Dive. And does this Space Dive ritual actually help? Yes, I've finally decided what the final chapter will be. Oh wow, cool. For real? Yes, it's the big blue star. The... Big blue star? Yes, the big blue star. It's... It called her. When the South Star Princess died, she wished to return there, to the place where she belongs. And the cat will be the one to escort her back? Exactly. And the good news is, I've already built the ship. Mr. Co-Rider's insight is, as always, extremely helpful. Nah, don't mention it. You're the one who came up with the Star Princess story in the first place. Well, I had to. This is our story. We made it together, right? Well, if you say so. So... Then... Hooray! <laughs> yeah, that seems like an appropriate reaction. To the final chapter. Yes, the final chapter. Is there anything else we need to finish this story? Yeah, all we need to do is build a spaceship. Whoa, a spaceship? Yes, the cat will score the yellow flower to the big blue star with the spaceship. And the good news is, I've already built the ship by myself. What? When did you? Can I see it? Where is it? <laughs> I've been working on it for the last three weeks, right after school. It was supposed to be a surprise for you. And of course, I built it in my super secret workshop, across the river, so you wouldn't find it. Crossing the river by yourself? That's so dangerous. Oh, don't worry about it. I've been back and forth loads of times now. And look, I'm still alive, aren't I? Anyway, I need something important to finish the ship. Something with magical power to propel it through space. And that thing is? Of course, the Star Princess magic wand. And I left it at home. Oh, well, that sucks. Should we go and pick it up? Uh, no, I, I can't go there right now. My house is no good for now. My father, he's... Hey, don't worry about it. The magic wand is in your room, right? I'll go get it. Um, is that really okay? I mean, you've done so much already. And if someone sees you, they might think you're breaking in. No worries, I'm stealthy, like a, like a cat, you know? I'm sorry for making you do this. Seriously, don't worry about it. I'll help you as much as I can, but you have to promise me you won't cross the river by yourself. We started this together and we'll finish it together, okay? Yeah, you're right. I promise, I'll be waiting for you. Do you remember where my bedroom is? My room is on the second floor, and the magic wand is somewhere on my table. Oh, one more thing. If you get lost, my cat, Bosk, will always know where to go. Copy that. Good luck. I'll be waiting for you here. You should wait for me at the boot base camp. It's uh, quite dangerous to wander around here. Hmm. I guess you're right. But the air is so nice and so fresh out here. It might give me some inspiration for the final chapter. Alright, just be quick, okay? Okay. Oh, one last thing. You've said that already, you know? Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. No, that's not it. I want to say something else. What's up? Thank you for everything. You're the best co-writer I've ever had. Oh, no need to be so melodramatic now. I'll be back soon. Let's go. What river is he talking about? 
Can we jump? Mr. Cat, how are we gonna solve this problem? Maybe we're supposed to go... Oh yeah, the cat knows where, where we're supposed to be going, so... Let's just follow it and see where it takes us. I love the art style, look at this. Is this the house? Oh, we're back here. We were supposed to come back. So she said the second floor. The second floor. I don't see any stairs. So maybe it's not here. Oh, we're supposed to be... Keep going. I'll just follow you around, cat. Mr. Cat should know this way. Okay. Going this way. Oh! Can we talk to this lovely girl? Nah, she's just enjoying the view and she's mad at me because I interrupted her sightseeing. So I'm just gonna go. Is it here, cat? No. Is it there? What the? Wow, look at this. This is awesome. Hey there, you look like a Pokemon master. Hey, drive slowly, dude. This road is already narrow and crowded. You want me to hit your fancy car, huh? Uh, I don't have a vehicle. So I don't know what you're talking about, dude. That's car max. Come on, cat. Show me the way. Oh, please. Leave that in 2018, for the love of God. That meme was terrible. Delicious simo, come and get your simo. What's a simo? May I know? Comet simo, comet simo. Hmm, maybe I should change the name to something more attention grabbing. Yeah, you probably should, cause simo sounds like something that I wouldn't eat. Sorry about that. I just um, don't think I would eat something that's called simo. Hey. Behold, be the great comet of Dune has torn up the sky. The stars are dying, our sky is falling. Disaster, diseases, floods, and droughts are ravaging the lands. Can't you see it? Uh, not really. Oh, wandering soul, how have you seen last night's news? The comet of Dune has finally come. Don't you want salvation, my dear child? For only one million, okay, one million, you can own this spirit-infused gemstone mold from a meteorite. Made from a meteorite. This gemstone is a holy talisman that will save you from the cataclysm. What? You don't believe me? How dare you? This gemstone was crafted by, um, um, <clears throat> the famous oracle Jabahibia himself. What? No money? Well, I guess it's your destiny to be cursed, then. What an a-hole. Well, let's look at the bright side. We got to keep one million... Whatever the name of the currency was. <laughs> let's talk to you. Kids these days are just the worst. Back in my day, we have to do whatever our parents told us to do. Now I have to do whatever that little girl told me to do. Yeah. How the tables have turned. Sub dude, what do you think? Um, what? I'm sorry. This Caracombe beat, it's a mixed tape I recorded myself. So what do you think? Uh, yeah. Cool, totally awesome. Dude, I know right? Not everybody appreciates Caracombe. Especially these days. It's an old music genre, brought over by the colonials and then perfected by our locals. It's soothing, you know, a perfect com companion for people looking to relax and escape the world for it. Hey, you know what? You can take my demo tape, it's a gift. Huh? Oh, no, uh, you don't have to. Please, dude, it's such a rare occasion, meeting a fellow Carol Kong music fan, you know? Besides, I can always make another mixtape whenever I want to. Um, thank you very much. I uh, guess I got a Carol Kong cassette tape. I don't really understand Carol, Kong's Carol Kong music, though. Yeah, me neither. 
Let's just uh, keep going. Cat, are you taking me to the right place? Hmm. In today's news, another interstellar comet has been sighted flying over the city. It's the third comet, comet to be seen this week. Neither the government nor the National Space Agency have released any official statements regarding these peculiar events. Huh. Looks like the world's gonna end soon, huh? Lucky me. I'm already married. Oh, lucky you. You have found your soulmate. We haven't, so we have to do favors for her. Why is she looking at me that way? What did I do wrong? Well, the cat stopped, so maybe we're supposed to be going this way. Oh, good god. Oh, this is bad. My foot. I went numb. Alright, it's good. <laughs> her house should be around this block. Uh oh, somebody's here. Hello, Miss Dewey. Are you going to the meeting too? Why don't we walk over together? Of course. Oh, you're not bringing your daughter with you. No. What's the matter? Is there a problem? My daughter, lately, she's been afraid of going to school. And my husband. Well, things aren't going well with his boss. He's been a little stressed over. Well, over the money we've had to borrow to get Nirmala's into school. And he's taking it all out on Nirmala. Today, she locked herself in her room and refused to talk to us. God, I really don't know what to do. Oh my, I'm sorry to hear that. Why has she been scared of going to school? I don't know yet. I want to talk to them about all of this, but I really don't know what to say. Well, why don't we go to the meeting a little early and we can talk about this on the way. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. Thank you. Don't worry, you can share your problems with me. That's what neighbors are for, right? True. They're gone. Now's my chance. Hmm, this must be her house. Right, and how exactly do we plan to get up there? The gate is locked, but her father is likely inside. It'll be dangerous to sneak through the front door. Maybe it would be easier if I pretended I was here to visit her. But I can't risk letting her father know that she sneaked out of the house. Besides, he would think I was a creepy high school student stalking on an underage girl. <laughs> Isn't that what we are though? This is all way too risky. But I have to get that magic one for her. What should I do now? The cat, of course. Hey, how long have you been up there? Oh yeah, that window on the second floor must lead directly to her room. Now, how am I supposed to reach the second floor? Are we ninjas? Can we get on top of this tree? I might be able to reach the second floor if I could walk across this wall. But the wall itself is too high for me to reach. Hmm. If only there was something I could climb or stand on. Maybe there is. Maybe I forgot to grab whatever it was. The rod is closed. Nothing happens. Maybe I forgot to grab something along the way. Oh, of course, this ladder. Whoops. No? Hey kid, what are you doing with my ladder? I, um, I'm just amazed by your ladder, sir. Wow, this ladder looks really strong. And chrome. Have you been smoking something funny, kid? I hope you don't cause me any trouble, kid. Nobody touches my ladder. Can't you see that I'm already busy enough? I wish I... I could get some sleep though. Darn. I could definitely use that ladder to get into Nirmala's room. Do I have anything else with me? The magic red book. Is that useful right now? I mean, 
she said that whenever someone has a yellow flower on her on their f head we can dive in so let's dive in and make this dude sleepy whoa that's awesome look at that I don't know what's happening but I want to find out whoa that flower is blowing I wonder what will happen if I make all of those flowers bloom <sighs> sleepy Stayed awake for the comet sighting last night. Eventually takes a toll on my sleep schedule. I've been keeping myself busy to stay awake, but now all I really wish for is just a good sleep. I can't sleep just yet. Not without shutting off that loud ringing sound. Not without turning off, turning off those darn bright lights. And of course, not without listening to my favorite Karakon music. Oh, how I wish for a good sleep. Right. Well, let's turn off this. Shut your mouth. What a strange clock. Couldn't turn it off. Hmm. Let's put some music. Maybe there's something over here. Found a baton. Should I resort to violence? No. There's no need for that. Or at least I don't think there is. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. What is this? Looks like a tent. Oh. Oh, it's just a light. You know what? Yes, destroy it. <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself, kid. Stay away. Well, we did it. Yes. He fell asleep. Oh, wow. He is fast asleep already. Thanks to this magic red book, I guess. He won't mind if I borrow the ladder then, will he? Time to pick up the magic swan. Sir, I'm just gonna grab this. You... Oh! Alright. Um, I have it in my invisible pocket, don't worry. Wait, it was this way. Now we should be able to reach the second floor. Let's use this ladder over here. Climb. This is dangerous, kids. Please do not do this at home. What do we have here? She said the magic wand should be on the table. There it is. The Star Princess magic wand. I still can't believe she managed to come up with all these wonderful things. Ninmala. What a precious talent to get. I got the magic wand. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no. Brat. Open the door. You ungrateful waste of space. How dare you look lock this door. You're skipping school again, aren't you? Open the freaking door. You're still freaking doodling and writing that stupid nonsense, aren't you? Have you got any idea how much money I have to borrow just to get you into a decent school? And this is how you repay me? You spoiled little brat. Oh snap, things are getting tense around here. I better get out of here before her father smashes this door open. It's starting to rain. She should be waiting for me at the base camp. Hopefully. Should we return this ladder? No, we can't. I guess the dude is gonna have to come over here to find it. <laughs> Where's the base camp? Uh, the ladder is um, over there by those apartments, right? 
The rain is getting heavier. I have a bad feeling about this. I hope she's reached the base camp by now. Well, I am concerned about this rain. I think in China or Chinese folklore, um, rain is like a bad, is like announcing that a bad thing is happening. I think it's the only Chinese cultures, pretty much all cultures. Now that I think about it, the sky is falling. It is the end of the world indeed. Cat, what is going on? Starting to get scared. I guess those are just NPCs. Cause I can't seem to be able to interact with them. Yeah, I give up. They're just NPCs. Hmm. Hmm, where is she? She hasn't got here yet. Help! Oh no. Huh? Someone, anyone, help! Oh no. It's her. That voice, don't tell me. Where is she? Oh my god, please don't tell me she's drowning. Or she drowned. I knew that rain was a sign of ill omen. I knew it. Mister, help me! Help me! Nirmala! Now we know her name. Help me, I can swim! Darn. I can't swim either. Hang on, I have to find something to reach her. Just come here quick, please. I don't think I can hold on much longer, I'm scared. <laughs> Terrible at making voices. Um, I guess I could use this. Here, try to wrap to the wand. Ah, oh. That's not gonna work. Oh. Oh no. This doesn't look like a nice artwork. Which means that this is not gonna end well. Kia! Yep. Just as I expect. It broke. I love the drones. Darn it. Sorry, I was startled by that thunder. Don't worry, I will get you out of there. Hold on. Alright, try to grab the book. Oh, uh, easy. Easy. Just a little bit. Oh no! Adma! That's our name? Uh, now we're drowning! What? I... I'm... Um, <coughs> coming... Coming... To get you... And we drown, ladies and gentlemen. And that's where the game ends. We'll make it... Together. Oh no. That doesn't sound like we're making it. I have, we have, a story to finish, right? I, I would personally be more concerned about my life right now than finishing the story. Oh, sad music. Yep, yeah, we're definitely dying, or dead, probably. Okay, wait, that's it? Or is this, now, that was probably just the intro. Unless that's the end of the demo. If that's the end of the demo, I think um, it looks cool. I like it. You know, I love uh, heavily narrated games and this seems to be one of those kinds of games. And um, I'm finding the story very interesting, for sure. So, um, yeah. I guess when it comes out, we'll check it out, which shouldn't be much long. We shouldn't have to wait. We shouldn't have to wait much long. What just happened now? <laughs> we became a star, huh? God. <laughs> okay. That is very strange. This game is something else. I'll give him that. Yeah. As always, guys. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.